In the last video, we looked at sections and how each different section in the document can have a different page setup. Well, of course, one of the features of a page setup is the fact that you can add a header or footer. I've got a document here with just one section in it, and we've got a header in there that says created by the name of the author and the page number. If I scroll down, you can see that occurs at the top of every page. What we can do is make the first page have a different header to the rest of the document. And we do that by using Page Setup. We select the Layout tab, and then we have a tick box, Different First Page. Putting a tick in there, and then OK makes a header disappear off the first page, but it is still on subsequent pages. This means that if we select the first page and do headers and footers, I'm just working headers because it's easier to show this, I've got a different header on the first page to the second and subsequent pages. So that's one way we can have a different header or footer in different sections. Well, not different sections, that's actually different pages. But what I'm going to do is set this document up to have a range of different sections, and then I'll come back to you. OK, I'm back. I've set up my document now to have a number of different sections. If I just browse by section and jump down one section at a time, you'll see we're now on section two and it's got the header, jump down to section three, and it's got the same header. And that's purely because I added my header in the usual way on the first page doing view, headers and footers. Now, because we've got different sections, each and every section can have its own header or footer. I'm going to select the header toolbar, And just point out some icons that perhaps you haven't noticed before and some words on the screen. Now that we've got sections in the document, you see I'm at the top of page one and it says header for section one is that. On the toolbar, we've got these two icons here that allow us to move to the next or previous section. So I'm going to click to show the next section. You can see now says header for section two, section two. And you can also see that it is saying same as previous. That means it is linked to the previous header. And there's another button there that perhaps you haven't noticed before. I'll jump on to the next section. We're now on section three, header for section three. Still the same as previous because it's linked to the previous header. And once more, we'll go to the next section, section four, header for section four, same as previous because it's linked to the previous. So what I'm going to do now is use this icon to break the link for section four so that it won't be linked to the previous header. And I just click this button see the highlighting of that button has changed. It now says header for section four, but no longer says link to previous. That means I can make modifications to this header. Let's just leave it with the date. Now I'll go and have a look at the previous headers. You see header for section three is still linked to the previous and it's got the full header information. So each section has got this different, I'll say that again. So each, sec, each of the first three sections has got the same header, but the fourth section has got its own unique header. And you can do that as often as you like. If we go to section three, we can change that perhaps to just have the page number on.
And then if we go to the previous header, you'll see, oops, can you see the deliberate mistake I've made there? Now we've got header one, two, and three, all just with page number on. And it's because I forgot to break the link. So you have to break the links before you make the modifications. So remember when things go wrong, you can undo. So I've undone, and that's brought me back to my full information. And I'll break the link to section one and two, change it to say just headings, just page numbers. And then when I go back, you can see section two, oops, wrong button, section two and section one are linked. So header section one, full information, section two, full information, section three, just the page numbers, section four, just the date. So using that kind of mechanism of setting up sections and then using different headers and footers by breaking the link between one header or footer and the previous one, you can create a document with different headers and footers on each section. A little word of caution. Once you start playing around with these headers and footers and sections, it's very easy to get lost and to things not quite to work as you're expecting them to work. Just be methodical in the way in which I did this. So I'll, I'll go over that again right from the beginning to show the process that I used. So step one is to set up your document with different sections in. For me, the next step is then to add your basic header and footer information using whatever information you wish. Cycling through, you see that's on every section. Choose the section that you want to modify. I'm going to modify section four. Break the link and add or remove the details to that section only. And then you can see different headers on the different sections. That's headers and footers with different sections.